It's that time again, the Sephora sale. Hello, welcome to today's video. This one is gonna be a fun one because I'm sitting down talking about all of my favorite products. We all know the Sephora sale is literally around the corner, just days from starting for Rouge members. I will put the dates, code, and all the information in the description box, so expand that. That way you get to find out when your tier gets to shop. I'm a Rouge member, so we get to start shopping early, and I definitely have a quite a large basket on the Sephora app going, okay? So as I know that the sale starts, I start working on my shopping cart, my basket, I put things in there, I take some things out, I add, I remove, then, you know, some extras get thrown into the mix, some last minute things, and then multiple orders get placed. So I'm really trying to kind of keep it to one order and just be good, right? So fingers crossed that that works out for me because at the present moment, it doesn't look very good for me. I have so many things that I want to buy. So this is going to be a recommendation video that I hope is gonna be helpful. I've selected products from each single category in the makeup application routine, and I'm sharing with you the best. The ones that I think are absolutely worth the money, worth checking out. If you're in the market for a specific type of product, I hope that I have given you a recommendation in this video. And as always, leave your recommendations down below. I am wearing a lot of these products. I've mixed a few different things that I feel like I could kind of mix and sort of play with makeup, but a lot of these products are applied to my face already and I'm wearing them for the day. I absolutely love them. You've seen a lot of these products in tutorials, so I'm going to link some videos that are helpful in the description box. And also the cards here in the top of the screen will take you to videos that I think would also be helpful for seeing these products, maybe kind of seeing them in action, getting a demo, kind of maybe review type videos that are pertaining to these products. These cards here as they pop up throughout the video will take you to that additional video. Before I get into the recommendations, I would like to share with you my platform where I share all of my favorites. I have little shelves that I share all of my favorite products. These are affiliate links and that's how I share my affiliate links with you all in the description box. And this is basically just shelves of all of my favorite products. And what I've done is I've broken it down by category. So if you click on foundations, you're going to see all of my favorites that I may not have time to talk about in today's video. You go down, there's all different categories, even a Sephora sale recommendations that I will refresh from the previous sale at Sephora. You also see a section that has my current favorites and I sort of periodically just change things out, but that's a great place to look at all of my favorites, products that I recommend and that I use. They will be listed for you there. So check that out. I will put the link to that down in the description box as well. Now let's get into the recommendations because that's what you're here for. I hope you have a snack and a drink because it's gonna be a long one and let's get started. Let's start off with primers. I have three different options for you and hopefully this kind of covers all the bases. If you're looking for a primer that helps kind of smooth the pores and gives a more diffused look before makeup application, check out the Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. Smooths the skin out, makes the skin look really soft and just more supple, and the makeup goes on beautifully, whether it's a liquid foundation, a skin tint, a powder, it just kind of blurs and smooths over the pores to make them look less apparent. So that is a great pore diffusing primer. If you're looking for a primer that can give you a glow, it's not technically marketed as a primer, but it is so multitasking, you can use it for primer, you can use it to mix into your foundation. You can use it with skincare. You can use it as a liquid highlighter. So I feel like, because you could do so much with it, I do feel like it's absolutely worth the price point. It's the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury, the infamous product that seems to be duped left and right these days. This is the one that started it all. This is absolutely beautiful. I wear shade one fair. This gives a nice glow to the skin where it looks healthy. It's not overly shimmery where it makes you look like Tin Man. There's no specks of glitter. You don't see little particles of shimmer sitting on the skin. It blends in so beautifully and makes the skin look so healthy and it's perfect for underneath foundation. If you're looking for an oil controlling primer that can also help smooth the skin and kind of blur and do a few extra things than just control oil, check out the Cali Ray So Blown Primer. I bought a backup of this during the holidays because I didn't think this one was gonna last me till now, but I'm glad it, it has because I use this almost every single day. And sometimes I mix it with the Hollywood Flawless Filter or with the Rare Beauty Primer or with other primers in my collection, but this truly does smooth the skin out and I can visibly see a difference where when I sit down to do my makeup and I have my skincare on and my face has a bit of glow, this just kind of tones things out. It doesn't mattify and make me look dry and just 
makes my skin look tight and weird. It just kind of tones down a little bit of that dewiness and that glow from my skincare products and it preps the skin beautifully. Foundations, I've got a couple options. I'm gonna start with the one that makes the skin look like skin that gives a bit more of a glow. And it's my Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I have this small one, I am almost out. I wore it today mixed with another one that I'm gonna show you, but mine is literally down to where the writing says Giorgio Armani. I have loved this since I bought it. This is a mini, you can also get it in full size. I do recommend just going for the full size. It is such a beautiful foundation that looks like skin. There is a bit of glow, but it's not shimmer. It's not glittery. It's not like specks where you see it on the skin. This melts into the skin and makes your skin look better, but more perfected. So everything is more even, everything looks softer. It's pretty on the skin and there's a little bit of a glow. So that's the foundation for that kind of glowy, but yet skin-like finish if you're looking for that. If you're looking for something that is more full coverage, that isn't quite matte, but isn't radiant and dewy and hydrating, I would recommend the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is the one that I mix in with my Armani today. I have loved this so, so much. It literally stays in place all day. I have no issues with this fading, with it sort of looking weird through the day, whether it's cold outside, whether it's hot outside. I bought this last summer and it was beautiful. Wore through the winter, beautiful. It's a nice, good matte finish, but it's not too drying and it's not cakey. And ironically, I didn't think that I was going to like this because of a long wear claim. I automatically think, and I'm just preconditioned to think long wear means that it's gonna be drying on the skin, that is going to be heavy looking on the skin. And this is absolutely not the case with this foundation. It is full coverage. I would say this is more of like a satin to demi matte. I feel like I can control that finish by using a more radiant product underneath. I get a bit more glow. If I want this to be a little bit more matte, then I can put it with something that's more mattifying or oil control. So you really can manipulate the formula a little bit to suit your needs throughout the entire year. So for me, it's a no-brainer. Next up is another foundation that I absolutely adore. It literally gives you the prettiest glow without looking shiny, without looking oily. There's that fine line between radiant and dewy and oily and greasy. It's, it's hard. Sometimes when you put something on that kind of looks a little bit glowy, at least for me with combination areas where I do have oil, areas where I'm more normal, more dry, that type of formula can look a little crazy six hours in through the T-zone for me personally. But this one, the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation from Hourglass is absolutely stunning, okay? This is full coverage. This gives a glow. It's applying a filter to the skin. And I'm not saying that we need to achieve that Instagram filter look and that our skin needs to be perfect because that's not the reality that's not real skin but this is beautiful this would be perfect for someone who wants full coverage this will be perfect for special events when you want to wear more makeup and for this I would recommend that you go in person in store to get a match because it can be a little tricky the shade that I wear is 2.5 cool I never purchase any cool tone anything when it comes to foundations and face powders because cool tends to mean more pink, where neutral is a combination of cool and warm. So the pink tones and the warm kind of golden tones, and then the Ws are more of the warm tones, the tans, those goldeny shades. This is a cool tone shade, but it actually, the tone of it in person is very golden. So it kind of throws people off for a loop possibly, so that's why my recommendation is to go in store and get matched for this like I did because I would have purchased the wrong shade online. We're moving into concealers, correctors, and I have one corrector. It's the Charlotte Tilbury corrector. This is the shade called One Fair, and I use this all the time. This is another love of mine. Mine, as you can see, looks quite dirty. This is the perfect sort of peachy color correcting tone for someone with fair skin. There's a few shades in this range. It literally can be worn on its own with no additional product. I've worn this with no other makeup on and it works beautifully. And it's the right tone of color correcting peach where it color corrects, it brightens, and it neutralizes the discoloration under the eye prior to applying my concealer. This is one of my holy grail type of corrector products that I absolutely love and recommend 1000%. Now for concealers, I'm not gonna get into every single one that I would recommend. There's so many out there that I absolutely love. I have four of them, so I'm just gonna tell you what they are. The Clinique Even Better, I recently discovered this and I could not believe how beautiful this looks on the skin and how much it covers. 
I love this so much that I ordered the foundation to try it out because I have to try the foundation. I love that. The Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin is also another beautiful full coverage concealer. I wear shade 140 in this one and this has a really nice full coverage. Whether I use a sponge that's been slightly dampened or a brush, I retain that full coverage. It's very impressive and I like the way it looks under the eyes. Natasha Denona, need I say more? The High Glam Concealer. I wear the shade called P1, which is slightly kind of peachy, so it helps in a way kind of knock out two things for me. It kind of corrects a little bit and it works as my concealer, so it's like using one product and I can get it both done. The shade range on the High Glam is incredible. They are yellow tones, so it'll be a Y. R for rosy tones, P for peach tones, then you have your neutrals. Like there's a color for every single skin tone and undertone, this is where it's at. It's beautiful, and the coverage I would say is a good solid medium, but if you put a little bit extra, you can get a full coverage with this. And then if you use it over a corrector, Forget it, it's full coverage at that point. The House Labs, this one in particular, the shade is a little dark for me, but I still use it and still love it. I think that this is a really nice medium, I would say it's a solid medium coverage, but it's the one out of all of them that has the, I guess, well, Clinique is more skincare infused, but I was gonna say that this is the one out of all of them that has the most skincare in it, and a lot of the products from this brand have a lot of skincare ingredients, which is great. I do like the coverage on this. The doe foot is a nice size doe foot where it applies quite a bit of product. It is a larger size doe foot and I can get a good solid coverage with this and it's beautiful, blends great. The shade that I have is 11 Light Neutral. I did match myself a little wrong. It's a hair too dark for me, but honestly, when I put it on, you really can't tell. So the shades I do think that are slightly more forgiving. The last concealer, was kind of hiding in my little stash of products. I have so much stuff on my desk. I would have to give a shout out to the Soft Matte Concealer from NARS. I use this sometimes as a base to foundation because it has that kind of matte finish that looks soft and more blurred, not dry, chalky, cakey. I like to use this under a foundation that maybe is a little bit more radiant. Or if I'm gonna use, let's say, a skin tint that has more hydration and more glow and it gives a luminous look and I wanna tone that down, I will use something like this in place of a primer. Because of that matte finish, I feel like it helps sort of create an even base because it is a concealer. And I feel like it helps kind of tone down a little bit more of that glow that I'm getting from that skin tint. If I want to use something, let's say like the Armani Luminous Silk, that I wouldn't describe as a full coverage, I would say it's more medium. If I wanted to make that foundation more full coverage, I would go in with something like this, the Soft Matte Concealer, and use a brush and just kind of buff this on a very thin layer, you don't need a lot of it, and then go in with that. So that is going to elevate the coverage of the foundation, and it's also gonna create a more matte base to start instead of using a primer. But this is something that's noteworthy if you're looking for a creamy concealer that has a little bit more thickness to it for spot concealing, or if you want to use something like a concealer first before foundation, this is a good one to check out. Now we're moving into the category of powders. And I have a few, I don't use a lot of powders, but there are a few that stand out to me and I think they are something to check out if you are looking for a powder. The first one I feel like is the most multitasking powder. It's the airbrush finishing powder from Charlotte Tilbury. I have a mini that I keep in my makeup bag upstairs in my bathroom where I get ready in the mornings for those quick early mornings. So I am considering purchasing this in full size, but this can be used to set the concealer, to set my foundation, to set my eyeshadow primer. I mean, I can do so much with one powder. So I do think because I can do so much with it, it is worth the money. The Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. What a name, okay? I have the light shade and this is one that's made for under eyes. However, I have used it through the T-zone and it's beautiful. And I've hit pan on this, okay? Can you see that? I use this almost every single day and it is a beautiful, beautiful powder. It looks kind of scary because it's quite white and bright, but it doesn't look like that when I apply it. There's a few shades to choose from based off of your skin tone because I am fair, I went with the light shade. They do have like a medium and I think a deep shade as well. And I did see, okay, let's just talk about it. The Pat McGrath has the same powder formula, but in a light pink shade. 
and I'm considering picking that up because I think that that product does drop during the sale or it may be already available. I may have already purchased it by the time this video goes up, but I am interested to try a pink powder under the eyes. And because I love this formula so much, I am considering very much to pick up that during the sale. So that is a time to save on Pat McGrath products. Now we're getting into some more fun things, okay? Let's talk about some bronzers really quick. I've got a few. I absolutely love my Give Beauty bronzers. I have two different shades. I use them and love them all the time. This one is different than the others because it comes with a cream. So you can use the cream to contour on its own, wear them both together. I normally go for the powder most days. I do like to use mostly powder-based products. This has a little bit of a glow to it and a little bit of a dewiness. But when I use this and set it with a powder, it wears just beautifully throughout the day. I have two shades, Heatin' Up and Toastin'. I think that they are absolutely beautiful and the formula is incredible. And I can't do this video without talking about my house labs. This is the one that I'm wearing today, the Velvet Bronzer. I wear a light level two shade. This bronzer goes on literally like velvet, like the name suggests. It never skips, it never drags, it never looks powdery, cakey, heavy. It doesn't look orange, muddy. It's really just perfect. And there are several shades to choose from, which is even better because the undertone of a bronzer is important. I don't want anything that's too red that can be a little too intense for my fair skin. I don't want anything that's too orange. I don't want anything that's too yellow based. I want something a little bit more kind of neutral. And this is quite neutral for me compared to the other ones that I own in my collection. I have used this that I'm kind of wearing down the H that's sort of embossed in the pan. And I love this. Now, if you want to treat yourself to something a little bit special, something a little bit more bougie, if you want to splurge on a bronzer 20% off, I think it's a great time to consider something like this. This is a little bit more expensive but I think it is 100% worth the money. It's the Gucci bronzer. I've talked about this before. I think I've even recommended it before. I have the shade 02. This is so, so nice. And I do think because of the price point, I think that a lot of people would reconsider because this is not a cheap bronzer, right? But it's really nice. Now here's the one thing that I would suggest. If you do not like fragrance in your makeup, this is probably not going to be for you. But I will say that after this is applied, I don't really smell it. But the moment that you open this compact, it's a, you, mm, you can't avoid it. It smells very, very floral. So it is a little intense. So if fragrance is a concern for you, you don't like it or it irritates your skin, don't even buy it. Um, stick to maybe the house labs. The Give One does smell like baby powder, so again, that's like a personal preference. It doesn't bother me, but I do think that this bronzer from Gucci is absolutely worth it. It's a splurge, but 20% off is a great time to splurge and save some money. Every little bit of savings counts. So that's why I'm including it. It is pricey, but it is worth it in my opinion. Now we're going to get into some blush. I love blush. If you could see my blush drawer right now, it's ridiculous. It's insane. It's just... Mm -mm. We gotta pare it down. But I, I, I have to recommend the House Labs blushes. I got the new ones. I got three of them. I currently own four. I have my fourth one is the old packaging. But this is what the new packaging looks like. That soft touch on the top, which is really nice. It matches the color that's in the actual product. The formula is just like the bronzer. It's velvety, it's pigmented, easy to work with, easy to blend. Do I need to say any more? They're just really great, okay? My next two blushes are more of the designer brands, more luxurious. Again, as I said, just like the Gucci bronzer, 20% off or a discount, whether it's 10%, 15, 20. I think it's worth taking time to look at it. If you are in the market for a blush or you want to splurge, these blushes, the Armani Luminous Soap blushes are beautiful. It's what I'm wearing today. And the Gucci blushes. Now, I have a lot of blush, okay? And if I'm gonna pick something like the Armani Luminous Silk over my other ones, that's saying a lot. This blush, like I said, it's what I'm wearing today. It gives me the most natural flush, as if my skin was actually flushing. This is shade 51, and it is beautiful. It's got a bit of a sheen to it where it makes it look like skin when it's applied. It's not completely matte, but it's not luminous. It's not a radiant finish. There's just something really special about this, and I'm glad I bought it when those launched. And the same thing goes for the Gucci blush. I only have one in the bright coral 
and I chose to splurge a while ago on this blush and I chose a shade that I don't have a lot of in my collection. I have a lot of pinks, a lot of kind of peachy tones, but this is a pretty coral shade that's a little bit softer, not quite an intense coral and the formula is 10 out of 10. Highly recommend that you check those out for sure. Now for highlighter, I have the Check My Glow from Give Beauty. This is the one that I'm wearing today and it is beautiful. The Platinum Cowgirl is the one that I own. And isn't she just beautiful? And the glow, okay. This is pretty. It also looks really nice as an eyeshadow, just kind of quickly sweeping it and then putting mascara, calling it a day. This is incredible and I love the formula. There's a few shades to choose from. I have Platinum Cowgirl and I think that that's a perfect shade or tone for my fair skin. And I really like that and it can give quite a bit of glow if you layer it, right? So on the opposite spectrum, is something a little bit softer, a something a little bit more, just a bit of a kind of sheen to the skin, and it's the new highlighters, or I should say luminizers, from Sephora Collection. I picked these up when these launched shade 05 Ice Pearl and 06 Rose Quartz. I did a video of this a long time ago. I love the look of the pans, really, really nice. The look of it seems to be like a luxurious formula at an affordable price. And the Sephora collection will be 30% off, which is even better, right? So if these are still in stock during the sale, I would recommend that you pick this up. This is going to give you a very soft glow. If this is too much, then this is where it's at for you. This is very soft, light, very ethereal. I can literally take a fluffy brush and put this all over my face and it's not gonna look like I just did that with a highlighter. It's very natural. It's so, so pretty on the skin. I really like this formula. It does need to be built up because it's more of a gelé formula. So when you put your brush in there, you're not gonna pick up a lot of product as you would, let's say maybe a powder-based product or something that's a lot more potent and intense with pigment. These you do have to build up. So again, it goes back to personal preference and what you like, but these are actually really nice. Let's jump into a few multitasking type of products that can do several different things. I'm a huge fan of using face palettes that can do more than just one thing, right? I have mentioned before plenty of times, if you watch my videos, I'm a stay-at-home mom of four, and I don't have a lot of time to get myself ready, and it needs to be quick. So I find a lot of value in having palettes that can do a lot of my steps for me because I feel like it just streamlines the process. So I'm gonna start with the Hourglass formula. This is the Ambience Unlocked palette. This one with the owl packaging was from the last holiday. It was a custom choice that you could do on the website. And the color story on this one in particular is the first color story number one, which is more designated for fair skin tones. And here's what that looks like. So you can kind of get an idea. You have lots of different things. You have two finishing powders that can be used all over your face or to set your concealer. I have a bronzer, I have two blushes, and I have a highlighter. This highlighter is a little bit more intense. So, I do have to go a little bit soft with this, but I can do so much. So my makeup routine is literally just a couple of minutes with something like this. So I think 20% off or any type of discount on the Hourglass brand is worth it because their, their products are a little bit more expensive. So this would be the time. This next one, I think they recently brought it back. It's the Glowgasm Face Palette in Lovegasm from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is something that I absolutely love. I wore this just yesterday and it is beautiful. Again, it covers a lot of bases for me. I've got a bronzer, a highlighter, and two blushes. Now the blushes in this is going to be very luminous and radiant on the skin, not overly glittery. It's not going to be too intense for me where I kind of have that combination skin where I do get a little bit oily sometimes. I don't think it's that much of a glow. I do think that this is more of a softer formula because it's more of that gelé formula that you do have to kind of build this up. And you see, it's just the softest radiance to it. The bronzer does have to be built up, but I do like that personally for me. Again, going back to having fair skin. The highlighter is beautiful. It's a little bit more of a goldeny champagne. So let me show you this top one as well. This is more of like a cranberry type shade. So what I do is I mix these two because this is a little bit intense for my fair skin. This one I feel like is more glowy than this bottom one, but the two together is really pretty. So if you like a kind of luminous blush and you like highlight, this is definitely something that I do think it's worth it because the price point I want to say is like around 75 for it. So having the opportunity to save on it is great. 
Next up is the Natasha Denona Hyper Natural Face Palette. This is a recent launch for the brand, and this is a palette that I'm including in this sort of multitasking. Mine is very dirty, I am sorry. I have used this so, so much since I got it. I'm throwing it into this category of multitasking products because I have a bronzer, I have a blush, or two blushes. I have five eyeshadows, and these are made to be used with your finger. You just kind of do the one and done, out the door, mascara, liner, boom, done. I love that. These here, I use all three kind of swirled together, but you could use a small brush to kind of get the lighter shade, contour, bronze, but I just kind of go in haphazard and I just mix the three together and I just apply it. The formula is beautiful. Same goes with the blushes. The darker two of the blushes, I think is a little bit more pigmented and more intense. This one is very soft. If you have fair skin, you will see a subtle kind of pink rosiness. If you have medium skin, tan, or deep skin, this shade may not even show up at all, but this one here will because it is very intense and I will just show you. It's super, super creamy, very luxurious, kind of silky feeling. It's a new formula for the brand. I did a video all about this, so I will have the cards take you to that video here on the top of the screen if you're interested in seeing more about this. This is a time to save on Natasha Denona. I do think it is worth it. And let's use the Natasha Denona brand as a segue to the next category of eyeshadows. I'm a huge fan of eyeshadow palettes, so I'm just going to say it. The I Need a Nude palette was the palette of the year for 2023. In my opinion, I'm going to just say it, this was the best palette that I purchased and used last year. This is absolutely beautiful. It's what I'm wearing today. Just picked a few different shades, threw them on really quickly. I'm wearing the shade Delilah, which is one of my favorites in this palette, all over the lid. It's like a smoky, kind of taupey bronze with a little bit more of a glittery finish to it so it looks incredibly beautiful on the skin if you love cool tones this is for you but there is a little sprinkling of some warmth in there with these kind of peachy tones the bronze the kind of cooler more silvery tones some taupes some topper shades to really elevate the shimmer finish make it more kind of glittery Again, I did a video on this when this first launched. I ordered it right away, and I did a video as soon as I got it in the mail. I ripped the box open and started filming, okay? I could not wait to get my hands on it, and it's beautiful, and it's one of my most reached for palettes. If you want to try Natasha Denona, and you don't want to buy the larger sort of midi palettes, and you want to try the formula, I would recommend that you try her smaller palettes. There's a few of these to choose from. They're smaller. You have five different shades. I have a few of these in my collection. This one here is the mini retro. It's the first one I grabbed, but I just wanted to have a product to show you what it looks like. I think that you're getting the same exact quality as the larger palettes in a more smaller scale. For those of you that want something smaller, you don't have a lot of space, or you're just sort of exploring and trying the brand out for the first time, this is a great place to start. Or if you just don't wanna spend, what is it, $69 for one of these, and you just wanna try the formula, Get yourself one of these and save some money as well there. I do think that they are really great quality. And I will have to say that the Natasha Denola formula has been one of my most favorites for the last couple of years. I find myself gravitating towards my palettes and my collection of Natasha Denona palettes or colors because I just, I love them. I love the colors, the finishes, the formula. Everything is 10 out of 10 with her products. So check them out. And I have to show you my Dreamy Dozen from Lawless. This is my everyday palette. I absolutely love this two pieces. It's got everything that you need. It's a basic palette, but it's not boring. Someone will say basic equals boring, but no, no thanks. I don't want to hear it. This is beautiful and I just love it. It's a talc-free formula, by the way. So definitely check these out. And for those of you that want something a little bit smoky, a little bit more intense, I would recommend the Pretty Grunge Palette from Huda Beauty looks like this. I used the cream shadow as my eyeliner today. And as you can see, hopefully I have used so much of that cream product and I use that as my eyeliner. I love the tones in here. You have some everyday kind of shades here. You have some plummy tones. You have some cool tones. You have a few different options for lid shades that are kind of sparkly, glittery, just a really nice range. But I do feel like the majority of the looks that I get with this is a little bit more on the smoky side, a little bit more rich, a little bit more depth which is why I'm including that. So this palette from Huda Beauty is a little bit more on the smoky side, and then the I Need a Nude is more on the cooler, everyday kind of side. So giving you both 
ends of the spectrum there as far as recommendations. Do you know what? As I'm looking down, I realize I totally forgot to talk about my eyeliners and the eyebrow category. Like how am I gonna forget this? So let's just zip through that. Lawless pencil, this is the soft fill pencil. I'm going to restock mine because I'm almost out. I wear the shade called Teddy Bear. Love this and like I said, I'm buying another one. It's what I'm wearing today. And then I do like the Rare Beauty gel. I forget what it's called. The name is so small. The Flexible Lifting Gel. And I think I'm almost out of mine. I bought one in November and I think it might be time to replenish. So I may have to add that as well to my order. But this is a great gel that kind of keeps everything in place and they don't move throughout the day, which is super important. Eyeliners. Let's just talk about these real quick. The Makeup by Mario. They actually stay on the waterline really, really nicely and I never have any issues with them transferring from the upper waterline to the lower. I highly recommend those. And then the Sephora collection, the 12 hour colorful crayons. These are actually really good, creamy, pigmented. They stay on, they last really well. So I do think those are really great eyeliners. And again, everything is gonna be listed and linked for you down below. And then finally, the setting spray. It's gonna be Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. It's the best, it's the one that I keep repurchasing, the one I keep coming back to. So this is my number one forever. Okay, it's just great, sets everything, keeps everything in place, melts all the layers together, and it does everything a setting spray is supposed to do, and the sprayer is really great, even mist all over the face, so I love it. Lip liners, I have so many, I'm just gonna shout out some brands. Check out the Sephora Collection Gel Lip Liners, they're absolutely incredible. Makeup Forever makes really great formulas, creamy, glides on, stays in place, beautiful to work with. Same goes for the ABH, I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills formula. The Lawless Forget the Filler Definer Pencils. I'm using the shade called Pink Sand today. Love this formula. Lip Chain, I'm gonna say it. Pillow Talk is, is my jam. It's my lips, but better, so I gotta show it to you. If you're looking to splurge and buy a lipstick this sale, I would recommend that you check out the Makeup by Mario line. These are the newest launches for the brand, the Super Satin Lipsticks. I have two shades and I love them both. Nice range of neutrals, pinks, and some deeper tones. So I think it's a really nice formula. The packaging is beautiful and that magnetic closure is extremely satisfying. So I definitely recommend that you check those out. And then I gotta give a shout out to my girl Charlotte Tilbury because I absolutely love her lipstick formula. The packaging, look at it, just, just take a look. Like isn't that just, yes. Look how pretty that looks. I'm wearing this one today. This is the red carpet pink. These are from her new uh, launch of pink shades and reds. This red carpet pink is the perfect shade. It's what I'm wearing today with the Lawless Pencil. Love, love, love. This would be the time to save on a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. And then I recently jumped on the lip oil train for Clarins. I'm wearing the shade 04 on top of this lip combo. And I wanna say it's called Pitaya. I could be wrong, but it's shade number 04. This was a mini that I ordered from the Sephora app. I don't know if it's still in stock. If it is, grab it, snag it, thank me later. These are so, so good. If this set is not available, I would recommend that you pick one. If you're looking for a lip oil, just the full size. They're really, really good. And I can see why people love this formula. It's so comfortable, shiny, fills in the lines of the lips, makes everything look better. I like it. Same can be said for the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumps from Tarte. I have a few different ones that I love. The shimmer ones, the regular creamy ones, they just have some color but a high shine. So if you like that glossy look, check it out. And it's a bit of a cooling sensation, not tingling where it's painful. It kind of just feels like a nice kind of minty feel to the lips. So I love this and it has that kind of pen style. You just push it, click it up and it's good to go. And I love, and I can tell that my daughters were playing with this one because they clicked up way too much product, but these are really, really nice. And that's it, you guys. I know this was a lot of product, a lot of things coming your way, just kind of throwing so much product a lot to digest I get it so the description box is gonna have everything click on the links they will take you directly to the product so it helps kind of make your shopping experience a little bit better hopefully um, so those links are affiliate so I want to be very transparent open and honest with you about that so if you use them thank you so much for supporting me and my channel it means so much that you take the time to use my links for your purchases it really does mean a lot and I hope you guys know that so I hope this was helpful I appreciate you so much for being here for watching staying till the end I hope you had a drink and a snack <laughs> to help you through this. I definitely talked a lot. So I hope that there was something that you will enjoy using from my recommendations. Please let me know what you think of it. 
you buy anything from my recommendations, come back and tell me what you think of the products, how they're working out for you. If you have recommendations that you want to send my way, I'm all ears. Please let me know in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys. And of course, do not forget to subscribe because I am going to be coming back with a video sharing with you the products that I bought because I can't let the sale come and go without placing an order, at least an order, right? I'm trying to be good, but I do have a lot of things on my list that I would like to try. I may not buy it all because it's a lot of stuff and I don't want to go crazy, but I do have some things that I need to purchase and I think I'm going to start with the items that I need to replenish first and then add in some extra fun stuff, right? So subscribe so you don't miss out when that gets posted. Hit the notification bell so you get notified when the video gets posted on the channel. You can also follow me on Instagram. It's here on the screen. I hope that you will connect with me there and we can be friends. Take care, you guys. Have fun shopping and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye-bye.